Welcome to Dakota Starry Nights. The purpose of this project is to reconfigure the landing gear structure. Now here is the stock landing gear structure that comes with the Wakira Scout X4. And one of the weakest links I believe in this system is the landing gear. And I'm not alone on that opinion. There are others that feel the same way. Part of the problem that uh, arises is it because if you notice the design and the way it's pitched out this tends to roll outward like that when it lands and that puts a stress on the servo up in here and it tends to splay the landing gear structures outward as it comes down I'm going to really address this issue and totally redesign the landing gear structure now this configuration is superior because what we have here now is that rather than the weight coming splaying out like that causing your landing gear to splay out this way every time it hits the force is transferred downward this is comes out on slight angle and then it's a downward pressure rather than an outward pressure so that relieves some of the force off the servo motors. These are setting underneath the props. It's pretty much in the same displacement as the original landing gear. However, the way this is designed, it will give a downward force rather than a force that's going to be exerted and splayed out this way every time it lands. Now I've flown this earlier this morning and was very pleased with it and you'll see that flight later on in this video okay and I should mention that the brace that is demonstrated in the making the Wakira Scout stronger video could also be applied to the new spider structure in fact if you made one for the original landing gear structure that will fit on this structure as well and that gives you even more support to where it won't move whatsoever but this is badass when you see this up in the sky and it's flying it is wicked I love it
So to install the spider leg is a pretty simple process. You want to have your props removed and maybe even your battery. Take that out, although it's not absolutely necessary. It's just going to make the quad a little lighter to move around. And here we have it installed on this side. And so to take the old structure off, there's a screw right here. And so we undo that, slide the old structure out, take the spider leg, and then you'll notice up here there's two tabs. Now those two tabs will fit inside of the slots that are in the servo motor housing. So right here this piece has these two slots in it. So the spider leg will slide up in here, engage those two notches and that will prevent it from twisting. So take the spider leg, insert it into the fitting until it locks and then to test it Make sure that you're in the gauge, give it a twist. Now you see now that's still twisting, that means I'm not engaged yet. There. Now, now it won't twist. Then take your screw and tighten it back up. And now this plastic housing that fits over the landing gear servo. This is it in white. And this is kind of thin. So in order to reinforce this, take one of the zip ties, there's two of them, and put it around the housing, zip it around, and I like to put the, the square nub or the lock back here on the underside, and then just tighten that up as tight as you can get it, and take a pair of wire cutters and cut it off, leave about a, an eighth of an inch or so above that housing. Don't cut it flush, leave a little bit above. Now that's not to hold the spider leg in there. The clamp and the tabs will keep it from twisting around. That's just to reinforce this housing. So if you hit the ground hard, it'll better your chances of that not cracking right there with that zip tie reinforcing it. All right, we've got both legs attached. Now we'll raise and lower it. So that's it. It's pretty straightforward. And then if you want, like I've done with mine, I've taken some um, blaze orange duct tape and put it here on the bottom that makes it the quad easier to find. I think it also looks pretty sharp. For you guys that want to upgrade to this spider leg -like structure, I put a few of them on eBay. Um, I've also got a link in the bottom of the description of this video to the page or you could do a search on eBay Wakira Scout Spider Lake and it should come up. Well thanks for watching Dakota Starry Nights. Clear skies and safe flying.